Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I'll tell you how to set up an integration to transfer new leads from native forms to Google Sheets. This is necessary to automatically transfer new leads from native forms to other systems. For example, in Google Sheets you can add new rows and conveniently interact with them in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, select the data source system, native forms. Now, select the action, get data. At this stage you need to create a virtual native forms account in the Apex Drive system. In this window you can change its name or just click continue. When the connected account appears in the list, select it. At this stage, you see the URL for receiving data it is to this URL that new leads from native forms will come. In order to continue setting up, copy the URL and go to your native forms personal account. Next we move on to editing forms. Find the webhook configuration item. Click on new webhook, paste the copied URL. Select pick event. In this case, I want to send data after the form is filled out. After you have configured sending data to a webhook, you need to fill out the form in order to generate data sending to the specified URL. After successfully filling out the form, we return to the Apex Drive system and continue configuration. At this stage you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so just click continue. Now, you see the data that we just filled in the form. If there is no data at this stage, try following the steps described earlier. If you are satisfied with everything, click continue. At this point, setting up the native form's data source has been successfully completed, now you need to move on to setting up the data destination. Choose the system, Google Sheets. Next you need to select an action, Add Row. At this stage you need to connect your Google Sheets account to the Apex Drive system. In this window you need to specify the login and password of your Google account. Be sure to check all the boxes. When the connected login appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click continue. At this stage you need to select the file and sheet to which new rows will be added. Now, you see Google Sheets columns for adding new rows, you can assign variables from native forms to these columns. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. When all required fields are filled in, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to Google Sheets as new rows for each new lead from native forms. If you are not satisfied with something, click Edit and you will go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Google Sheets. After successful submission, Go to Google Sheets and check the result.
If you are satisfied with everything, return to the Apex Drive system and continue setting up. This completes the setup of Google Sheets as a data destination. Now you need to enable auto update and select an update interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.